in the figure is CD greater than BC. So is this segment on the end greater than the middle segment? Well, the fact that it's a geometric diagram means that it's drawn to scale, and all three of them look approximately equal. Now, we have no guarantee that they're exactly equal. It may be that one is slightly bigger or slightly smaller than the other. We don't know. So, moving on to the statements. Statement number one tells us that AD equals 20. Well, that just tells us about the whole length overall. That tells us absolutely nothing about how the length is split up. So that statement by itself is just wildly insufficient. Statement number two tells us that AB equals CD. So the two outer segments are equal. And what does that mean about the length of the one in the middle? Well, I'm going to exaggerate things a bit. We could have the ones on the outside being relatively large and then the middle one being small. Or we could have the two ones on the outside being relatively small and then the one on the inside being large. And so we have no way of knowing how one on the end compares to one in the middle, just given that the two on the ends are equal. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Well, now if we combine the two statements, it turns out that doesn't really get us anywhere. It's just that one is such a useless statement even if we know that the length is 20, we could still have either one of these cases going on. It doesn't matter what the total length is. So even though the length is 20, we could have a case where the one in the middle is much smaller than the others or the one in the middle is much larger than the others. So even together, the statements are insufficient and the answer is E.